welcome back to Slaughterhouse Customs. Today we have something a little bit different. Me and the lads were invited up to Raptor HQ to learn a little bit more about Raptor and what it's all about. In our previous video, we learned a little bit about how Raptor came to be. So if you haven't seen that, go and check it out. And in this video, Jason and JD from Raptor show you guys how to Raptor like a pro. So without further ado, let's check it out. Ooh. We made it to Raptor, the training center. But I need my colleagues. Lads, oh, there we go. Here we are with Jason and Jono and myself and Jay and of course Ben. So we have found ourselves in Raptor's training room. And uh, Jay here, tell us a little bit about what happens in this room. We test up all of our products, teach our end users, customers, uh, staff, how to use Raptor correctly and professionally. Today, I believe we're gonna be Aha, we have got some of our own little products here. We've got the TTA1 T5 awning brackets. These are some of our very groovy T25 light grills and of course some of our 3D printed SHC logos there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap to these up in a couple of different finishes to see how they come out and learn a little bit about Raptor as we go. Should we, uh, should we give it a crack? Yeah. Go on. All right. Go on. So here we are, we're gonna, be, we're gonna be prepping and of course Jono and I, watch the other video, six Ps, Prep, 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 prime, paint. How are we gonna prep up these bits? First thing that's really, really important, before you even think about taking an abrasive or a sander to these panels, you need to make sure they're thoroughly cleaned and degreased. Reason for that, if you're leaving those contaminants on that panel, you begin to sand them, all you're doing is working that grime into the substrate, can create further issues later on down the line. Right, so let's get this sanded then. So yeah, this is why I'm not allowed near the, uh, the paint booth, because I, uh, I get impatient with the prep, and uh, that's why Jono is here to uh, do paint for us. But as, as with most things, anything that's painted is all about prep, and if I told you that probably 99.999% of our complaints that come in mm. from our end user, when we go back and have a look at it, it's down to prep. It needs to be cleaned, it needs to be abraded, it needs to be cleaned again, yeah. and then you use the appropriate priming system before the Raptor. Once you do that, it's bulletproof. You know, it's, it's gonna be on there for a long time. Yeah. And as we've said before, prep, 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 degrease again. First, let's spray up these plastic bits and bobs. What are we doing now, Joe? We're gonna wipe them down again. Egg, of course. Just, just, to be, just to be sure. Ready for the application of the adhesion promoter because ah. this is plastic. We're gonna tack them down as well? We're gonna tack them down as well. I'll get that going. This is a tack cloth. It's designed to remove any fragments or any dust from what you're about to paint. Needs applying correctly. If you over apply this product and put it on too heavy, it will actually create a film on the plastic and what? create a barrier so the Raptor can't stick. Oh, handy. Two light coats, 10 minutes flash off. This product works over time. It conditions the plastic, it softens the plastic, giving the coating that you're putting on top a chance to chemically bite or yeah. chemically adhere to. Quite important, you're not going for a full saturation coat. Just making sure you're getting in all those lit corners. I'm sorry, you might have done this before, Joe. <laughs> Just a few times. <laughs> so we're now at the stage where we're gonna mix and paint, is that right? That's right, the adhesion promoter's in there busy doing yeah. its work. Yeah. So we're going for a nice, fine, plasticky texture. We're gonna use a HVLP spray gun. What we're gonna do is mix our Raptor. Because it's quite a small tip size yeah. for such a thick product, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're actually gonna reduce the Raptor okay. with some fast thinners. Three to one mixing ratio, three parts Raptor, one part hardener, 15% thinners. And your cups tell us this as well, don't they? They, they, say... they do, you've got nice. 10, 20, 30. Give it a thorough mix. Just make sure you've got a real nice homogenous mix there. It's all thoroughly okay. yeah, mixed yeah. together. Mixing's pretty important. It's all about the prep. It's all about the prep. I think we're ready to go. So we're gonna apply this Raptor, 1.6 gun, primer gun. First coat, we're gonna go for some nice wet application, full coverage, then we're gonna let it flash off for 30 minutes. We'll then go back in and go for our texture coat or our glory coat as I like to call it. Nice, let's do it. All right, so we're gonna let that set for 30 minutes. We're gonna uh, go grab a coffee while we wait. 
We're going to go and put the second coat on now, is that right? Yep, yeah, that's right. 30 minutes later, the glory coat. That's it, the glory coat. Let's do it. Job done. So we'll go have a look, shall we? You can see how that change in application, distance away from it, the pressure was dropped. It's really changed that appearance now and gives you almost like a factory plastic texture. Obviously still wet, so we've got quite a shine on there. That's purely because the solvent hasn't yet come away from the product. As this dries overnight, it will go more, as, more of a matte semi-gloss. Right, let's let these dry off and get on with the metal bits. We're up to 2K epoxy. So you've got the advantage of having a 2K product in an aerosol. Amazing bit of kit. Got your vial in the middle that contains the 2K hardener. Primer is around the outside. You pop that vial, the hardener mixes with the epoxy. The beauty of this aerosol as well is you've got a very nozzle, so you can actually control the amount of product that's coming out just by twisting this blue tip on the top. So you can go from very fine application to quite a heavy fan. Really simple. Take the cap out the top, give it a shake for a couple of minutes. It's on a flat surface. Palm of your hand on the top and just push down and you'll hear a click. Give it a good shake again, make sure it's all mixed together and away we go. Excellent. Right, we'll give that 10 more minutes. Give them another coat, make sure we've got some good protection on there. Absolutely. 30 minutes flash off then, we're ready to hit it with Raptor. Fantastic. Right, we're now going to set up the gun and get the Raptor mixed up to get the first coat on. Slightly different texture this time. So we're going to change our gun out from a 1.6 tip to a 2.5. We're going to have a lot more product delivery. But the beauty of this, this tip is we're not going to need no thinners this time. So purely 3 to 1 mix straight out of the gun. Oh, that is a bad boy. That's a, that's, a, that's a big one, isn't it? Yeah, that is a bad boy. So what sort of finish are we looking at getting with this? The finish we got earlier was quite a fine stippled finish. Yep. This finish is going to be more like your powder coat, more like the appearance of an orange peel. It's nice and smooth, yep. just little bumps here and there. Three to one, no thinners this time. That's the Raptor mix ready to go. Should we get kitted up? Let's go. Let's do this. Right, so this one we're going to set the gun to two bar. Yep. Pick the move on and away we go. Right, job done. 30 minutes later, cooled down nice and dry, nice and handleable. Let's go and take them out and have a look. So look at that. Excellent um, job. Two, two different textures there. Yeah. Just purely by changing the tip size of your gun, a little drop of thinners, you can really see the difference you can achieve. And anything in between also, just by tweaking your pressure, distance, make it work for yourself. Yeah. Raptor's very user friendly, really, yeah, really easy to use. Look at that, even when on the stainless steel, sealed really nicely all around the edges, everything's just been coated in it, just giving you that extra layer of protection. Bosh! Here we are. Guys, would you care to join me? Ah, so this was SHC teaming up with Raptor to come down and wrap to some of our really cool stuff and get a better idea about how it's done, the ease of it going on, what it can do to your stuff at home. So. Yeah, there you go. Hope. Thank you so much. It's been an absolute pleasure. I hope it's uh, been productive and you've learned something, seen what Raptor can do, and see how easy it is to use. The textures, finishes you can achieve are endless. Absolutely. So guys, let us know what your experience with Raptor has been. Send us some pictures. Get down in the comments below. Let us know what you think. If you want to get any Raptor, follow the link in the description below. You'll find out how to do that down there. There it is. <laughs> and guys, like, subscribe and we will see you in the next one. Cheers. It's out there in the ether. That's what has been flying in my ear. Ugh.